Mandy Rudolph wants time. Mandy Rudolph is calling time. Boston calling time out. There's 15 seconds left to go. The Hawks lead 110 to 107, and it's 50 points for Pettit. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Pettit with 19 points here in the fourth quarter of play. Has just taken charge of this game by himself. We have never seen him try the shots he's tried tonight. We always like to see him drive for that basket. You can't stop him. But just one week ago tonight, Bob was held to only 12 points right here as the Hawks went down to a heartbreaking defeat. But they bounced back in Boston. And now with 15 seconds left to go, the Hawks lead 110 to 17. In by quarters, Pettit has scored 12 in quarter number one, nine in quarter number two, 10 in the third quarter, and 19 here in the fourth and final quarter. 50 big points. Don't forget, if we win this one, we're going down to the clubhouse to talk to these Hawks. We'll let Bob tell you all about these 50 points, but let's win it. 15 seconds left to go. Now the Hawks will try to keep from falling. They may let the Celtics take a shot and try to control the ball for the last 10 seconds or so. They don't want a three-point play now. Kuzi now the trigger man from out of bounds giving a Sharman. Sharman dribbles in, goes under, shoots and scores. 11 seconds left. The ball given to Coleman. Coleman looking for Doogie Martin and Doogie's got it. Heading toward the front court. He stops, turns, now has to pass. He does. Over to McCauley. McCauley in the front court. The ball game is over. The Hawks are world's champions. The Hawks are the world's champions. The Hawks win it 110 to 19. The Hawks are the champions of the world. Oh, and this crowd is going wild. Everybody down on the court. They're grabbing Pettit. They're tearing him loose. They've got Doogie Martin up on their shoulders. Easy at McCauley being hugged. 10,000 fans in a frenzy now as the Hawks have won the world's championship. They've beaten the Celtics. And I'll tell you this, the four games the Hawks won were by a margin of only eight points. Two games by two, one by three, and one by one. Oh man, look at Hagen out there, getting hugged, getting kissed, and getting his picture taken. What a night. The Hawks are the champions of the world. Oh, that makes you feel so doggone good. It chokes you up. These kids have battled all year long for you. And you've responded wonderfully well. And the Hawks are the champions of the world. The final score, 110 to 19. And now I'm going to hustle off and go down to the clubhouse and turn this over to Jim Butler. Jim will give you the highlights and the totals. We'll tell you that Pettit set an all-time record in the playoffs, scoring 50 points here tonight. I've never known or seen a better performance. Pettit, offensively and defensively, a dedicated performance. He scored 50. Everybody in the place is hugging everybody else. I'm gonna head for the elevator. They have just announced that Pettit scored 50 points, and that brings a loud cheer. So, Jim will be back with you now in just one minute with the final highlights and the totals, I'm heading downstairs. Party time is fall staff time, but leave it to the old pro to figure out more ways to shine as a host. Refresh your friends. Oh, with fall staff, of course, uh, but entertain them too. I remember the laugh that I got at a party once with the old Indian rope trick. <laughs> Threw the rope in the air, climbed 20 feet up, and then, thunk, a midget that I hid behind the balcony railing let go of the rope. Well, I, uh, you must have heard me say, let's go, go, go for Falstaff. Any good time is Falstaff time. Falstaff beer. Right beer anywhere, Falstaff beer. Brewed with special care, smooth and golden, bright and clear. America's premium quality beer. Sing out now, the time is here for cool, refreshing Falstaff. Brewed by the Falstaff Brewing Corporation.
Oh boy, you get 10,000 people just waiting around. We'll be back down with the uh, with Buddy, with the voice of the St. Louis Hawks, and you'll be hearing from Gene Kirby, and you'll be hearing from the players and from Coach Alex Hannum, and oh, you're going to have a lot of excitement yet. This playoff game was presented for your enjoyment, the game itself, by the Cry Packing Company and by the Falstaff Brewing Corporation. If you had a little extra emotional excitement along with the enjoyment, well, that's all the better. Our St. Louis Hawks are now the world champions of professional basketball. 110 to 109, that's the score. You don't get them closer than that. Here's the way the scoring went in this sixth and final game of the championship series. Bob Pettit had 50 points for the Hawks. Jack Coleman had eight. Cliff Hagen, 18. Charlie Scher had eight points. Easy Ed McCauley, two. Walt Davis had five markers. Doogie Martin, four. Jack McMahon, nine. Win Wilfong had four. Med Park had five. Of course, the big news is the almost unbelievable news that Bob Pettit had 50 points in this basketball game. Now for the losing Boston Celtics who lost their world championship tonight. High point man was Bill Sharman with 26 points. Bill Russell had eight. Tom Heinsohn, 23. Arnie Risen had 12 points. Jack Nichols failed to score. Lou Seropoulos, 14. Bob Cousy, 15. And Frank Ramsey, eight points. Sam Jones had three. Andy Phillip failed to score. Well, it's just about time for us to get down to the clubhouse, and we will in just a moment. Are they all ready down there? Okay, we'll do that. Let's take you to the dressing room, the Hawks dressing room, that victorious scene, and let's find out what's going on. This is Gene Kirby here in the victorious dressing room of the world's champion St. Louis Hawks, who tonight came from behind and whipped the defending champions, the Boston Celtics, in one of the most thrilling basketball games we have ever seen. The Hawks over here in the corner now, whooping things up, and in just a moment, we're gonna be able to talk to the victorious coach of the world champion St. Louis Hawks, Alex Hannum. Alex, 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 Alex. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Hannum, the coach of the victorious St. Louis Hawks. Alex, Hi, Gene. How are you? What a thrill, thrill this boy. must be for you. It's, uh, it's the biggest thrill of my life. Uh, undoubtedly, it is my biggest thrill in basketball. You know, I've been back here. It's my 10th year back here in the pro ranks. And uh, to have this victory tonight and to win it and to have it as close as it was, I can't explain a game. I'm just too thrilled, and I just, I, I just can't talk, Gene. How about some of the boys, Alex? Oh, they're all wonderful. And what a show Pettit put on tonight. It's just, just fantastic. Wonderful. Fantastic. He was better than wonderful. <laughs> and with that goes all the way down the line. Every one of our players played, and they did a marvelous job. And I'm so thankful to be associated with this group. And, and I, I'm just so happy, I just don't know what Thank to say. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank Dog you, it was a wonderful job all year. Thank you so very much. I'm looking now for Ben Kerner. Wait till I get Ben Kerner here. Ben! Folks, I'll see if I can get the owner of the St. Louis Hawks, Ben Kerner. Let me see now if I can get Ben here. Ben has been so doggone. Ben, where are you, Ben? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, while we, here's Ben now. Ben Kerner, ladies and gentlemen, the owner, the president of the wonderful, wonderful ball club. Ben, how do you feel? Doggone. Well, it's a great thrill for me. It's the first time in 13 years, and I've waited a long time for this, Gene. Ben, I want to congratulate you. It's been a wonderful ball club, a wonderful year, and I don't think we can thank the Spans of St. Louis too much for the wonderful uh, support. You're absolutely right, Gene. I think they, more than anybody else, deserve the credit for bringing this championship to St. Louis, because without their support, I don't think we could have ever done it. Thanks very much, Ben. A wonderful team victory. And, folks, I'm going to turn it over right now, because I know he's going to talk to a lot of the victorious Hawks up here. Buddy Blattner, the voice of the Hawks. Buddy, baby, come on. Oh, man, oh, man. Alex, come on over here, big